just tell you how I feel. Uh, how I feel is heartbroken. Do I ever hear from QT guy? Yes. Here's how it goes. Hey Holly, I'd really like to see you and catch up. Sure. Gonna be home tonight. Come on over at 7 p.m. Five hours later. Oh, yeah. So I had to go to my mom's birthday party. And it's nine o'clock now. Can I come over now? I have broken up with this man like six other times. That's stupidity. <sighs> These men, not all men, but the men that I've been seeing have truly been showing me their character lately and what is they're really interested in. So I think what you have going is a good thing. I'm just so excited to learn from you. Yay, finally. What if they ask you out, but you've been friends for years? Do you still have to do the three month thing? Go to chapter 37 in No More Ask. Oh, I haven't got it. Okay, 37. Yeah. Grade their paper on the 12 character traits because okay. at the end of the day, the reason why we take three months to assess is to answer the question, what are they? Are they a generous long-term thinker or a selfish short-term thinker? A generous long-term oh. thinker is a 12 out of 12. Every single woman should read this book if you're single. It just really opened up my eyes. Your book produced a lot of emotions inside of me, but one of them really was humbling. Like I was humbled. Humbled because how did I not know all of this before? You were never taught it's not your fault. He's quirky and I love it. <laughs> That's weird, right? Is that weird? No, he's quirky and I love it. I love that he's quirky. You're very cute when you're smitten, Holly. <laughs> but it's still a long time between now and the first kiss. And what I yes. want keep saying to yourself is good so far so i don't emotionally masturbate yeah are you tired of guys who don't have impulse control yes one who said you were overweight that x are you tired of guys who lack impulse control yes exactly so how do you get somebody who has impulse control if you refuse to practice impulse control. Y'all know I have a dating coach and she is on this platform under Canada's dating coach. Her name's Chantel Heidi. When she first came to me in February and started doing sessions with me, I told her there's no way I can do a no kissing for three month rule. And she said, well, Holly, do you think you possess self-control? And I was like, no, I don't think I have the self-control. And she's like, oh, really? So if you're at a restaurant with a man and you start to get turned on, you just rip your clothes off and start going at it in the middle of the restaurant? <laughs> I was like, okay, touche, Chantel, touche. She's like, see, you do have the ability to possess self-control. And I discovered that it's not a matter of, do I have self-control? It's a matter of, do I want to have self-control? So you don't need to say, I want to be respected when I show up. You're gonna show up and see if they respect you. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to write that down. So many of your videos start with something like, I met a guy who seemed, so what lesson have you learned? That the three month rule is awesome because most people are not what they seem and that I'm not going to be making out with, having sleepovers with, having sex with, or being exclusive with a man for the first three months until I can clearly see who he is as a person. How are you feeling, Holly? In control. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and it does feel empowering. Good, that's what I'm here so thank for. You. You are yeah, you are. I have never dated a man that was so masculine and so much a protector and just giver he's amazing so mountain man and i have kissed the three month rule helped me because my picker was broken it was a guideline that i needed in my life to help me until my picker got better and to stop me from getting dick drunk so i am grateful for the rule and i'm so grateful for my dating coach and it was exactly what I needed at that time in my life. And so many of you want to know, how did the kiss go? Was it amazing? Uh, no, it was not amazing. <laughs> Everybody has a different style of kissing and we were not compatible in our kissing. <laughs> my dating coach, who I will tag below, told me that if this ever happens, here's what you need to say. And I followed what she said and it freaking worked. 
So with kindness and gentleness, I said, listen, it's obvious that we're not having the same rhythm here. Do you mind if I show you how I would like to be kissed? And he said, yes. And so I kissed him how I like to be kissed. When I explained it that way to him, he knew exactly what I wanted and he has kissed me like that ever since. Now I will say that if I had kissed him on our first date and he had kissed me like that, old Holly would have been like, oh shit, we're not compatible kissers, so I'm moving on. But because I got to know him and he is such a wonderful man, I was wise enough to know that he was worth taking the time to teach him how to kiss me properly. Because my dating coach also told me, you can make a great man a good lover, but you cannot make a good lover a great man. Yeah, of course he's impressed. <laughs> <laughs> you have the best dating coach in the world, my love. <laughs> exactly. I, you really are. You've changed my life. You really have changed my life. Just gentle. You taught me to value myself again. That I was worth it. And I lost that for a little bit. I love you so much. I love you too, Holly. I love love and I love that I can help you. Mission accomplished.